Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to give you 10 recommendations from the Criterion Collection that I think you should check out. So stick around. So today I wanted to go over 10 titles that I think you should check out from the Criterion Collection. These are horror themed ghost stories, haunted houses, suspense um, that I really enjoy watching and I thought I could give you 10 recommendations from my collection that maybe that you might be interested in purchasing. So first up we have The Others starring Nicole Kidman. This is a recent 4K release. This is from 2001. It's spine number 1195. And it's one that's really kind of hard to talk about as far as the story goes, but it's definitely one that you're going to want to check out. Um, it's got great I don't know, it's just got a great eerie atmosphere about it. The location, um, the way that it's shot and filmed. Um, great film. I really enjoyed this one. It's probably one of my favorites. Next up, we have Notorious from Alfred Hitchcock. This is from 1946, and it is spine number 137. This is a very suspenseful movie that stars Ingrid Bergman and Cary Grant. And it's a great thriller, and I think you should definitely check this one out if you've never seen it. Another one that I really enjoy is Kronos from Guillermo del Toro. This is from 1993 and it's spine number 551. And it's a tale of immortality. Very suspenseful movie. Really enjoyed this one and it looks great. So definitely check that one out. Another great one from Guillermo del Toro is The Devil's Backbone. This is from 2001. It is spine number 666. And it's set during the final week of the Spanish Civil War. And it takes place in an orphanage. It's very creepy, very eerie, looks great, and it's one that you're definitely going to want to check out. Another great one from Guillermo del Toro is Pan's Labyrinth. This is from 2006. It is spine number 838. And this set five years after the Spanish Civil War. Now it's one that's really hard to talk about also. Great visuals, great creature effects. Um, this is definitely one that you're going to want to check out. Now, if you like haunted house stories and ghosts, you're going to want to check out The Uninvited. This is from 1944. It is spine number 677. It is about a brother and sister who have purchased a house that is haunted. It's very atmospheric and creepy. I really love the way that they did this film, and it's definitely one that I want you to check out. Another ghostly movie, which is kind of... One, probably one of the oldest ones I have in my collection, and that is The Phantom Carriage. This is from 1921. It's got a color tint to the film. It is in black and white, but there is a color tint. It is also a silent film. It is spine number 579. And it tells the story of anyone that passes away before the stroke of midnight on New Year's Eve, before the New Year starts, has to roam the earth throughout that next year to gather lost souls. Very interesting take on a ghost story, and it was it was fantastic. I really enjoyed this one. Okay, another one that I really enjoyed, and that is The Innocents. Now, this right here is from 1961. It is by number 727. And this is another one that involves kind of ghosts in a haunted setting. Um, if you saw The Haunting of Bly Manor on Netflix, this is kind of the story that that's taken from. Really enjoyed this one and definitely would like you to check that one out. Now, another one that I think is very interesting is Don't Look Now, starring Donald Sutherland. This is from 1973. It is spine number 745. Now, this husband and wife have had a family tragedy, so they've gone on a trip to Venice. And it's like a supernatural tale. A lot of things happen throughout this trip. Um, very interesting ending, so definitely check that one out if you've never seen it. And then one of the creepiest films that I've ever seen, visually, and that is The Brood. Um, the Brood is a David Cronenberg film. It is from 1979. It's spine number 777. And it has a great performance by Oliver Reed and Samantha Egger. And it's more of like a demonic tale um, with some great visuals, a great story, and very interesting as far as keeping your attention. So those are my 10 picks from the Criterion Collection that I think you should check out. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know some of the other horror suspense type films that you think that I should check out because um, I really do enjoy reading your comments. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video today, and we will see you next time.